Here we are at uh, Beverly Festival and you played a, a cracking um, gig at the World Top Marquee. Thank you very much. Lovely. Did, did you enjoy that? Yeah, it was brilliant. Yeah, yeah good yeah. fun. Yeah. Really good fun. I think we've been looking forward to it for a while, haven't we? Yeah. yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, it was everything that the Moonbeams uh, stage usually is. Yeah, it's a nice crowd. Nice yeah, yeah, nice. yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah it's good, isn't it? Yeah. And of course you've got your drummer Mick missing. We have, yeah, yeah he's, he's working, he's yeah, back, busy, yeah. busy, yeah. back doing busy jobs, uh, yeah. or pretending to be <laughs> standing at the back of the stage. Yeah. Yeah. It's just without Mick. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> great. Uh, so what's the name of your band? It's Maisie and the Thompsons. That's a great name. Oh so who's Maisie, dare I ask? Yeah. That, that, was the the, that was the big question, but it has since been answered that it's actually my first pet. My, uh, my dog was called Maisie, and my mum's maiden name is Thompson. Yeah. You're playing at a folk festival, but you're yeah. sounding sort of popular, really, in all this. I think we have, we we have, have some very different influences. Yeah. yeah, definitely. I think we have folk, uh, or well, at least myself and Mick have a very folky background, uh -huh. hence the Richard Thompson stuff that we did in our set. Um, and a lot of my writing is is more folky, more yeah. acoustic. Um, Whereas Ant, I write the pop stuff. Well. I write the, uh, the the chorus. If you want a catchy like hook to your hook to your chorus, I'm a sucker for it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Me too. Pete's the real yeah. musician in the band. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Ask yeah. Pete, he yeah. can play anything. Playing the back. Yeah, yeah. Well, I wouldn't say it. Yeah. Trombone. Yeah. Yeah. Piano. Piano. Bass. So we we come up Bass. with the songs and then we just say Pete gives us a nice jazz chord here, and he comes up with the goods. And then and then yeah, when we're looking at the funky stuff, you know, I do like a good yeah, a good groove. So it's a big mix of stuff. He's wormed in a bass solo now, so yeah, and we've we've let him. Yeah, I don't think Mick likes that. still. that's right. Does that mean Mick's going to come up with some drum solos? We know he's anti. In fact, no. To be fair to Mick, he is anti drum solo. He finds it a bit pretentious, which is which is fair enough. I think he's more of a Dave Mattock star drummer from Fairport. Um, so it's pretty solid, Mick. It's just what it needs. Yeah. In, I would in say. build mm -hmm. and in <laughs> musical <laughs> yeah. groove. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, the days well. of uh, well. six-minute drum solos aren't uh, aren't well, the amazing well. calendar anymore. Well. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Cool. And do you all write together then? Well, you two kind of come up with the ideas initially, yeah. don't you? Yeah. And then and I mean, we take it to yeah. You very much have a song and bring it to the band, and it's more of a come yeah. up with a few ideas and then bring it to the band, and then we all sort of put make it together. It yeah, I, I, yeah. I, I, <laughs> make I think it these guys improve. I think Ben's, the most Ben's a real grafter with songs. He's a real song smith, and uh, he'll sit down, he'll have a real vision yeah. about what he wants, and he'll super critical. That's not good enough, and. I think we probably only get to see a very small fraction of what uh, Ben brings to the yeah. yeah, yeah, I'd say so. Uh, whereas I've said I, I just like to bang out the old cheesy pop tune. Yeah, you're unhappy if the song takes longer than ten minutes. Yeah, right? if, if I've been writing a song for longer than nine and a half minutes, it's over. Um, yeah. I, I usually get phone calls from Ant saying, "What rhymes with pay? <laughs> Rain? That'll do." Yeah. The next song. <laughs> Yeah. Songs. I, I'm a story writer. I think in my songwriting style, mm -hmm. I find it very difficult to write abstract sort of stuff. And I, I, I look at, I listen to a lot of that type of music, and I think, wow, that's amazing. Um, Dave Matthews Band, I love Dave Matthews Band, but figuring out what some of the songs are about, no way. And I can't do that. I have to write with something that's happened. So yeah, a lot of my story, songs and stories are personal and have been based on things that have happened, something that someone said. Uh, so definitely issues based, I would say, because I need I need that groundwork. I need the idea to, to sort of flesh out from. So uh, certainly for me, that's that's my that's my way of working. Yeah. Well, you were the song about the school. That's the one that you wrote, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah I mean, being primary school teachers. That was quite political, wasn't it? It's, yeah. It's um, I mean, education is one of those areas that everyone's got an opinion about. And uh, we work day. In fact, all of us work day in day out in education. Pete's secondary school. Um, so most of our <laughs> chat is, uh, is school based. Yeah, we, we like, like to, to put the there. world to rights yeah. about school. Yeah. So. But you know, do you have any albums and things out there? We've got one recording. Didn't yeah, we? we've got an EP, an EP which, which now is only available online, so Spotify, um, called Written from the Start. And then we have CDs available at gigs that are just that are a collection of some live tracks and some of the from the EP as well. Yeah. Some acoustic stuff that we've yeah. done previously as well. We have plans for more recordings. Yeah, we're looking to yeah. um, to our next really. Now we've yeah. got, I mean, we've got a pretty solid set. Mm -hmm. that we like. We're going to park for a bit, write some new stuff, and then go back into the studio as soon as we can. Mm -hmm. That's what we're sort of we're putting our pocket money towards. Yeah. 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 Expensive, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, yeah. And do you have many gigs coming up? Uh, we've got one at a village in. 
Bishop Wilton. Bishop Wilton yeah. of all places. Yeah. The, uh, that's yeah. Next week. Um, that's next week. And then we also have a an acoustic um, kind of session almost, not tunes, but with different acoustic artists each month that featured, rolls around. Featured yeah, artists. featured artists. Um, in York at the Spurrier Gate Centre, um, which is a space that uh, we've, we've come, come to through some of the people that we know. So we, we play that regularly. Um, and what's the best gig you've played so far? Apart from this one. If this is the Do best. Know, I would say I this mean, is up there, to be honest. I had yeah, a lot of fun this afternoon. I had a lot of fun with it. Mm -hmm. And they've been really good, really good fun, all of them. It is just a, it's just a nice group of people. Yeah. I think that's all you can ask for. Really. Yeah. If you have a nice set, a nice audience, it's always the way, isn't it? But if yeah. you're guaranteed that with Moonbeams. I can't um, think of a gig that I haven't enjoyed playing with these guys. We just love to play, that's our thing. Yeah. We're... Um, I don't think I don't think there was any record uh, deals available in the tent today. Unless <laughs> I mean, it's been know, give it, it's been ten minutes. They're outside. Yeah. We're we're right there's a queue. So, so, yeah, they're yeah. just outside <laughs> this tent. We're here because we love to play. Yeah. We just we just love to yeah. go up there and play yeah. our yeah. stuff. And if anyone can listen, that's great. Yeah. So. yeah. And what's the worst gig you've played? Um, do you know we've, we've done? Yeah. To be fair, nothing with the nothing with Maisie and the Thompsons yeah. comes close to anything that Ant and I have done previously. Yeah. When we've kind of done acoustic stuff, and we used to play in a place called Toffs in yeah, York, exactly which is a what club, I was gonna think of. <laughs> um, which they, uh, for, for whatever reason, they'd have hilariously loud contemporary stuff downstairs, and then upstairs they thought that acoustic act would be, would be just perfect. So we played for a gorilla, a guy in a gorilla <laughs> that was suit. My favorite one. Um, somebody, somebody requested the Beatles, which we didn't know, um, and then threatened violence when we didn't know it. Um, <laughs> just any of those gigs were. Horrendous. So we've got a lot of a, you know, yeah, that's, uh, a serious ba low low baseline for anything to be better than that. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah. Um, if people want to come and find you, um, how can we do that? Uh, in person would be the would, would be perfectly. I mean, these two are taken, um, but I am currently oh, single. Oh, you some... do you mean online? Oh, <laughs> right. Sorry. Um, <laughs> Facebook. <laughs> some 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 beautiful uh, ladies obviously going to be watching this and Absol say, wow. absolutely. I mean, this is what I was. This is where we're getting to. So, <laughs> ladies, so we uh, if you like to <laughs> oh seven. Uh, no. um, Facebook, Maisie the Thompsons. If you search yeah. Twitter, is Maisie Thompsons as the app Maisie Thompsons, um, and Maisie the Thompsons a, website, yeah, there's, there's a um, site has there, yeah. music on, has gigs yeah. on, has. Um, uh, pictures of me uh, <laughs> in various states Profile. of undress now. <laughs> yeah, so that sort of uh, that's fantastic. fantastic. And is there anything else you'd like to say? No, I think that. Well, just thanks for having us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. Oh, you're welcome. Appreciate really it. Thank you very much. You're ready.